Welcome to a new series, Best of British. In these next five episodes, I'm going to be exploring some of the great Britain has given us over the years. So tuck yourself in and get ready for the ride. Today's video is a little bit different. You see, in this series, I've reviewed a McLaren, Bentley, Jaguar, and a Range Rover, two Range Rovers. Cars are not a lot of people can relate to, but today is about a car at least everyone can connect to. And that's the Ford Fiesta, Britain's go-to hatchback for decades. So sit back, enjoy, make yourself a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable at home, and enjoy as we celebrate the history of the Ford Fiesta. I'm Max Haftavani and welcome to Driven Plus. Since its debut in 1976, Ford has sold over 16 million of these things worldwide and over 4 million in the UK. And of course, a lot of hot hatch versions also. So let's start with the first one they ever created. Oh yes, it's the Mark I Super Sport. I can't believe I'm actually driving one. There's only 128 of these things left in the wild. So this is rare. You see, the reason the Fiesta came about was due to the oil crisis in the 1970s. So there was a market for a more economical car. So Ford realized this, hence the birth of the Fiesta. The Ford Fiesta was officially launched in 1977. You could buy the basic model for 1800 quid. How time has moved on. Ford's marketing slogan for the Super Sport was the car that looks as good as it feels and as good as it drives. And I can tell you, it lives up to that name. I suppose some of you are saying the 1300S was the first hot hatch, maybe all right, but let's just appreciate what I've got here. But this came with a 1.3 litre naturally aspirated Kent Crossflow engine, which produced 66 horsepower. Now for 1980 standards, that was quick. And you got a black strip on the side of the car which said Super Sport, that was your lot. But I just want to comment on the condition of this car. It's absolutely immaculate. A credit to the owner, Richard. Fair play, mate. This car is now 41 years old. It's done 10,000 miles since new. I'm essentially driving a brand new Super Sport. That's bizarre. <laughs> Come on, girl. The sound this thing makes, I love it. And you even get that rich sense of petrol coming into the cabin. Beautiful. And it's only got four gears. There's no fifth gear. Keep going to put in five gears, but you only get four. What a machine. What an absolute beauty. In the last 40 years, one in 20 cars sold in the UK has been a Fiesta. That equates to 5% of all cars sold in the UK over the last four decades has been a Fiesta. Then in 1983 came along the Mark II, longer and more efficient. Now, the new Fiesta, refined, matured, more efficient design, more advanced engineering, more economy, more comfort, more style, more, much more, car for the money. The new body shell is designed for aerodynamic efficiency. The deeper leading... And not to mention the XR2i. 1989 saw the Mark III, this time with anti-lock brakes. Space ...for the players, a better manager's office, and it's even available with anti-lock brakes. We think it's the best small car in the world. Could it be the next best thing in your life? Then in 1996, the Mark IV was born with a more aerodynamic shape and dual airbags were standard. XR2i and RS models were ditched for the introduction of the ZTEC S model. 
And then came this, the Mark V Fiesta, the turn of the millennium. It was time for a new look. The first generation to have an ST, the ST150, and they even made an ST500 model. But none of them was the best model they made. It was this one, the Ford Fiesta ZTEC S Celebration Edition. And it was to celebrate 30 years of the Fiesta. And put it this way, even I've got a Fiesta. This is my personal one. Now you're probably shouting at me saying this is the Mark VI. Well, no, it's not. You see, the Mark IV's facelift is often referred to as the Mark V. But according to Ford, this is the Mark V. But what's special about this? Well, firstly, they are rare. And what I mean by that is they numbered them. Here, as you can see, this is number 507. They only made 400 of each colour, one being the green, the yellow and the red. And they finished off with that chequered roof up there. You get the same 1.6 Duratec naturally aspirated engine in which you get an all ZTEC S's. So it does lack a bit of power, 100 horsepower. You know, but that power will be addressed eventually. I mean, I'll go into more detail of this car when I'm done with it because it's a bit more of a project car for me, but that's for another video. But the Mark V saw the Fiesta integrate new technologies, such as Bluetooth. And then came the Mark VI, probably the most common Fiesta you will see on the roads today. Ford sold 300,000 of these across Europe each year. This was also the first generation ST to feature a turbo, with its range chopping ST200, one of my favourites. And to finish the Fiesta story, we end with the Mark 7. Now you could get different models in the Mark 7, such as the, uh, the Active or the Vignale. These were brought out to react to an expanding market. And you could also get the ST, powered by a 1.5 cylinder, producing 200 horsepower. This is the last Fiesta you can buy. So if you've got the space and money, you know what to do. But in all, losing the Ford Fiesta is like losing all of the country's fish and chip shops. They're part of our culture. And chances are you've either owned one, a member of your family has, or at least someone on your street has. You know, these things, they're everywhere. I mean, look at it this way. The Ford Fiesta is the future Cortina slash Escort. In generations to come, you'll be able to tell your children or even grandchildren, look kids, I had one of them. You know, the Mondeo went, the Escort went, but looking at Ford's lineup today, I can't think of any other car that would deserve this type of video. Apart from the Mustang, of course, but that's American, so who cares? In June this year, 2023, Ford will bring the production of the Fiesta to an end. A successful production run of 47 years. And the Fiesta, well, that'll take a well-earned siesta. I'd like to thank you for watching today and be sure to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.